Hello, everyone. Today we're doing the oscillating iodine clock, which is a myriad of reactions that deal with kinetics, entropy, and thermodynamics. Uh, in addition to a few other complex chemical reactions that we're not going to track, um, but all in all, we just have a cool oscillating reaction. So we start with solution number one. Then we're going to add solution number two and three at the same time. And as you see, we have this deep purple color. And as the limiting reactant is slowly consumed, we'll see the reaction change color to a light gold, at which point we're going to start generating the next chemical reactant, which is going to flip us back to the deep blue color, as seen there. And this chemical reaction will continue to oscillate until we have exhausted all of our reactants. And it may not be visible on the camera, but you can see that there are some bubbles eluding from this reaction. Um, and that is indicating that we are using up a reactant. Something is leaving this reaction. And so eventually, this reaction does come to a stop. It does not go on forever. Hello, everyone. Now we're going to do the oscillating cerium reaction, which is a cool color changing reaction between a few different reagents, where we're going to start with this pale yellow solution. We're going to add another clear solution to it. And then we're going to add in what's known as our chromophore, so which is a chemical compound which going, is going to make the color of this reaction visible. And we're going to have a murky color for a moment until everything comes to a dynamic equilibrium. And we're looking for this color cascade where we're going to see a red solution that'll then turn a light yellow, then light green, then light blue, and then back to red. So here we see the color cascade from blue to green to yellow. And then it'll slowly go back into red as our limiting reactant disappears from solution and starts to rebuild itself again.
And again, we'll see the chemical cascade. Not quite. 